All right, so I'm going to do a few videos here about importing data from the web to Excel. We're going to start with importing HTML tables in this video. I'm going to go ahead and go here. I have this Wikipedia page. See if I scroll down here, we have cities in the US. And if I keep scrolling, you'll see there is a table here. Now, this is likely not the only table on this page. So if I keep scrolling down, that's a pretty big table. See, there are more. So this is a little table here, another one here. So we have how many cities we have in its state. And maybe there are more. Yeah, there's another one. So a bunch of tables, apparently, see, on this. I'm going to try to import this big one right here. To do that, I'm going to first copy the link for that page, go to Excel. And in Excel, I'm going to go to data tab. In data tab, I'm going to use this get and transform section. And I'm going to be using Power Query to import data. Power Query is built in for Excel versions 2016 or higher. If you have previous versions, you can also add it as an add on. So what I'm going to go here and do get data. Now I could click on this from web, but if you don't see this here, then you can always go under get data and then do from other sources and then from web. I'm going to click on that and that's what's going to show up. I'm going to just paste the URL right here for the page. You want to make sure you get the whole thing, including the HTTP, HTTPS, that part. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to get this. So basically it went through that page and it found some tables. And if I click on one of these, it's going to show one of the tables. So CDs from formerly over 100,000 people. If I go here, uh, I don't think it's this one. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. So that's that table over here on top for whatever reason that went as the first one in the list. So I need to find this one in that list. So basically what do you do? You just click on these different tables to see what you have in them. See, this is that population one and I'm going to keep going until I hopefully find the right table, which I think is this one. Yeah. So that looks like this. You could keep going and see, see, I'm going to just make sure there's nothing else here. Go back to this. This is the right table. You could import multiple of these tables if you want it multiple ones, we just click on the select multiple items and check multiple tables if you want. I just need that one. I'm going to click on this. It's going to select that. That's good enough. Click transform data. So right now, if you look here, this is basically that table moved over here. And if I scroll down, see there's over 300, which seems to be accurate. Now here you can see how we have these labels on top, but then there is this row with all of this information. And I know this power query is kind of small and unfortunately there's no way for me to zoom this or nothing that I could find. I'm gonna try to use this uh, magnifier so I can show you what's going on. See, there's this label on top and there's this thing that shows up as a row on top here, row one. So I don't really need this as a part of my data. This row one should be my data, that should be New York. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just get rid of that first row. So the way you do it, you go to this top right here and on this top, see there is a section remove rows. I'm going to click on that and I want the option to remove top rows. So when I click on that, it's going to show this box and it's going to ask you how many rows do you want to remove? So I'm going to go to this box do one as number of rows to remove, hit OK. And that should take care of it. See that row is gone here. Now it just starts with New York. That's pretty good. So if there are columns you don't want 
in your Excel spreadsheet, you can remove them right here. So maybe I don't really care about the land area. So I can just go and select that and remove that column. I can also remove this other columns here. So basically you can just remove the columns that are not necessary in your worksheet. And you can also transform some columns to make them what you need them to be. So for example, these, see if I look here, this is text data. I don't want these numbers to show up as text. I want these to be numbers. So I can go here and change the type of data. And instead of this being text, we will choose, well, we could choose decimal number or whole number in this case, because I don't think we have decimal points. I'm just gonna do decimal number just in case. I can also take this and convert it to a number. And then you can just remove things basically you don't want out of here. And once you're done, you possibly want to rename this from table two to something better on the right side here in properties. I'm gonna call this cities. Then I'm gonna go on top left corner of this query box. There is this close and load option and then close and load. So when I click on this, that will load that table to my spreadsheet. So keep in mind that this is an active connection to that web page. So if the data on this web page were to change, you can get updated data by simply just going here and clicking on this refresh icon and that will just go grab the data all over again and get us the updated data from that website again. And if you didn't want this to refresh all the time, you could just unlink it. See, under here, under table design, I'm gonna unlink, hit okay. Now when you unlink, you're not really unlinking your spreadsheet from that web page. You're just unlinking this table from that connection query that you did to that web page. So that connection is still gonna stay here, see on the right, but this table is no longer linked to that connection anymore. So if you wanted to, you can also remove the connection itself. And if you go under your data tab, see under data, we have this queries and connections. And this is really the same thing as this panel on the right. So if you X out of this and you want to get this back, if you go and click on that, that's just gonna bring this thing over. And if you wanted to remove this one, that's the connection, you could just right click on this and delete. Now I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep this because I'm gonna do some extra work on this. So I want to take this to the next level. So if you look at this table, this is great, we have like cities and we have the state in this table. Let me zoom in so you can see. But the state is like the full spelled out state. So I want to have a short version of this. So I want like C-A-I-L-T-X and I don't want to manually do this. So I'm gonna try to grab this from the web again and try to bring this over. So I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna go to Google here. Let's search for state abbreviations list. Yeah. So let's try to find a web page that has the list of states listed in a table. I'm gonna try to see if there's a Wikipedia thing here. If there isn't, I'll probably use one of these other ones. See, there's list of US states abbreviations, Wikipedia. Let me click on that and see what's going on here. Scroll down a little bit. That should work. See, there is the state and then there is the abbreviation here on the right. So now I'm gonna try to pull data from this one and then try to match it up and change all the states here with this short version. I'm gonna copy this, go back to Excel and in here, I'll go back again under data and from web, paste the new link, hit okay. Now I have to find that table. Was it this one? It seems like it does have that information in it. I'm gonna keep just looking to make sure there isn't another one. 
No, so that seems like that's the full table. I'm gonna click on that one, that looks good. I'm gonna click transform data again. See here, there is this column of headers. There is some stuff here. I don't care about it that much. And then if you look here, see it has this name of the column and then there's this table thing. And then there's this name and status of region, which should be the name of the column. So I need to remove this rows on top. So I'll go on top here again, remove rows, remove top rows. In this case, I'm gonna remove one and two, and that will make this third one the name of the column, hopefully. So I'm gonna go here, do two, go here, hit okay. So I like this column name, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna remove this null and this out of here. So I'm gonna click on this filter, and in this filter options, it's a regular filter, I'm gonna remove the null, and I'm gonna try to find that option that's not really a state here there's that united states of america to also remove that row there i'm gonna hit okay and that should clean it up see now we have this we have the states listed here so apparently that's not really a state but yeah federal district anyways i'll i'll keep that that's fine and let me get rid of this magnifier so i got this so now i'm gonna get rid of the columns i don't want to look at so I'm gonna remove this one, remove, that's no good. I think I'm gonna keep this USPS state thing and remove the rest. So I'm gonna click here, press control, select this, 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 and this, so all those columns, and right click, remove columns, get rid of those columns, just keep this clean. This is pretty much it. I'm gonna go here and rename this instead of this crazy name. I'm gonna call this short state table. Now if I go here and open, see this queries thing right here with an arrow, it will show me the old one too, the one with states. I'm gonna click on that, that will bring me back to this older table and what I want to do I want to just match up the state names with the state names from this new one and then go pull this USPS column results that's the short state so to do that I'm gonna go to the first table where I want the short states this one let's bring the magnifier here I'm gonna go here on top see we have this thing called merge under combined section I'm gonna click merge so this dialog pops up right here that basically just gives you your current table of CDs and below there's a drop down to select the second table and there's only one thing we have here, the other one. So I'm gonna do the other table. Now when you do this, you have to select the lookup column. So remember, I wanted to search for this state right here, this value is like New York, California, Illinois and I'm gonna find those values here in this column so apparently now we have to choose this privacy level and decide what privacy level I want to assign to this. So I'll go here and do private for Wikipedia and it applies to both because both links are from Wikipedia. If you have different uh, sources, like with different websites, you will have to choose for each one. I'm gonna hit save, close this magnifier Everything else is default, I just chose the columns and then I'm gonna hit okay. And what's gonna happen, we're gonna get this table on the right, which is basically the results from that second table, but it's all the results. So we wanna just choose the ones that we need. So what we do, we click on this filter like thing on top, see that icon, open that. And from this list, we just choose which columns we want. So I just wanted that column called the USPS. I'm gonna hit okay and see I have that short state name now. I'm gonna drag that to the left to have it right next to the city. So now I'm gonna just load this back. I'm gonna go close and load and close and load. And basically it's just gonna load this here. Now, when I said load, remember I unlinked this table previously. So maybe I'll make a new tab like this, this is where I want my data. I'm gonna rename this, I'm gonna call it data. Now I want this to 
basically load it here. So see now it's just a connection. I'm gonna right click on that and do load to. And then now instead of connection, I want to load it to a table. I'm gonna click table, existing worksheet. See it says A1, now you could erase this and click where you want. Maybe you want to load it here. I'm fine, I'm just gonna click on A1. Hit OK and give it some time to load that and now we have New York NY, Los Angeles CA. And again, if you wanted to reload this with new information, you just go here and refresh. And that should just refresh with new data on that web page. And that's how you can load HTML tables to Excel. We'll do some other types of data in our next videos. But for this one, that should do it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.